self-destruct sequence at Hey guys, Josh bringing you another video for you guys today. Welcome to the workshop. Uh, today, I got something a little bit nice for you guys. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. Uh, a little while back, I did mention this. I was going to make a drone into a, like a bat wing or like an X-wing or whatever. So, what I happen to thought of is I happen to got a couple plans right now. I got them right here. And also, I'm having a little trouble right now, but basically I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about these. Now, I got this one right here. This one's the biggest one that I got, and I got all the pieces for this. This is the Batwing form from Batman Forever. So, I mean, I kind of took a look at this, and we're going to talk about this in a little bit. And also, I even got this one. And this one looks a little more great to size and a little bit more appropriate for this project. So, what we are going to do is we're going to make this right here into a bat wing drone. Now, it does have a little bit, it will have a little bit of weight to it. But also, I want to talk to you a little bit more about these right here. So, and also, we're going to make the housing stencil out of for this that way we can trace it cut it out and put it right onto the template that way we can do this for other drones so basically let's go ahead and let's get cracking now today i was taking a look at this right here and kind of thinking about what i should do with this and if i lay this down right here on the table and and here's what I got trouble with. Now, here's one because the nose right here and this wing right here will be so heavy for this thing. I mean, I'm not going to make it out of wood or anything because it's not going to be that heavy. Because, as a matter of fact, as I take a look at this, this is so big. I could cut it down to size, but then I might end up ruining it. And plus, this is a great size. For a project, and I do not want to. So if I actually had it like this, and the drone is going up, you'll have some weight right here and some weight right here on the front. Now, I want to make this out of that uh, foam that you can get at the Walmart for about a couple bucks. I'm going to be actually I placed the order for it. So it should be here pretty soon. So my super glue real quick. And this right here, I think this drone will not be able to handle the power for this size. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make both of them and we're going to test that theory. Now I got the other one right here and this one's a more perfect size for this. And I'll lay in here just like that about right there and it's right in the middle and I can make a, fu a fuselage right here make an undercarriage and also have like a landing gear for this other than the landing gear that's underneath here now this is real cheap I got uh, I got more of these right here coming so that's pretty great right here but I spent like about a couple hours at night uh, design this right here so we are going to go ahead and get started on making the template for this right here so I got this right here I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get my glue right here and make this a little bit more stronger than it is now that way when I trace it on here it will be great it will be strong enough for me to do the template right here now let's see there we go and this is great for all ages great for adults great for kids and all so i'm just going to teach you guys how to do this right here now we actually got our template right here i'm gonna go ahead and grab this right here and put gobs of this glue on here 
like I said, it don't have to be like real strong super glue to where you need a whole bunch of it. But I'm going to get more of this for this craft stuff. Um, Elmer's, that's what it is. Elmer's. Elmer's um, black foam uh, crafting. But it's real great. I saw a lot of people use it online. And it's real light. And heck, I might end up making a nice little jet out of that. Out of the big one. I might just use that. Instead of making it into a There we go. Now I've got this down right here. Now. Now because we got this right here. I'm going to go ahead and trace this right here. Now I want to teach you guys how to do this right here without going overboard. Because I can actually glue these into place onto, the, onto this. That way if I want to, I can easily remove these right here. And that way I can remove this and have the drone be like free from from that and I can put it right back on. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this right here very carefully. With holding this into place. Without trying to remove this. Trying to line this up right here. Now I'm tracing the holes underneath the bumpers right here, the little blade guards right here. That way you can have a nice little clearance. That way when I put this down, it'll automatically come right up and it'll still hold. So what I'm going to do now is now I got this right here. It's starting to curve up a little bit. But this, let's do this. There we go. Ah, much better. Uh, find my ruler right quick. And we're going to go ahead and fill in these gaps right here. Like this. Actually, this time I took a look at something. I kind of got this on crooked. I just want to make sure that I trace this on somewhere that's not going to be. Okay, just want to double check my measurements. It's not exactly. Ex it's not exactly perfect, but it will help. And I'll put F for front, B for back, and I'll put L. An R. Alright. So now we actually got our template right here. As you can see. Um, it's not exactly accurate. But I just want enough to where it can actually clearance this. So I'm going to go ahead and get my trusty scissors right here. And we are going to go ahead and cut this out. Yeah. It may not be front, it may not be exactly lined up right, but <clears throat> ah. 
but it's pretty great, you know. Go ahead and get this right here. Yeah, I did mention that I was going to do this a long time ago, but I never got a chance to because I wanted to go ahead and find a perfect. drone for this I don't want to spend like a lot of money on a drone I just want to get like a nice little cheap drone for this right here so you guys can do this yourself and it'll be a lot of fun Now I got this cut out. Now I just gotta cut the lines out again. So just bear with me, you guys. It's gonna take a little while. Starting to curve up again. I don't know why it's doing that. There. Now we actually got this looking like this. Now if I demonstrate, let's set this right here on the bottom right here. It will exactly look like that, but as I took a look, it looks like it's not exactly, this needs to go out a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. This is one thing good about templates. You can easily change it, do a couple fittings. This bend a little bit from a couple crash tests. Now, I did happen to film this right here. If you guys want to see this thing fly, leave a comment down below and you will get it. I'll make the video. See, and there we go, right there. <clears throat> All right, now we got our template. Now, I want to go ahead and take the time right now. Move the camera up a little bit. Clean my little mess. And also let you guys know, uh, we actually made 100 subscribers. Excellent work, you guys. We done it. Uh, let's go ahead and make all, make, all, make this channel great. Make this channel more great for all ages. And also, uh, next video, we'll be getting ready to uh, make this right here. And I think I will make this one. I don't think I will make this. But in the next video, I will show you guys of how this right here got made right here and how big it's going to be. I might just go ahead and just make it that way it's more, that way you guys see the largeness of this. So, uh, hope you guys like this video and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and also leave a thumbs up. And uh, leave a comment down below if you guys want to uh, see this right here get a nice test flight. So, uh, I hope you guys like this video and, uh, stay safe out there and, uh, stay safe.